Today I'm going to show you a fun and engaging way to introduce new vocabulary to young learners so that you can avoid your class from turning into this. What's this? It's a car. It's a car. Say car. 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 Say car. 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 Say car. Car. I'm Gemma Perry and for the past eight years I've been working in China as a teacher, manager and recruiter. So if you're teaching ESL abroad make sure you subscribe below and hit that notification bell for weekly ESL teaching tips. So you've been thrown into the classroom and you're told to teach some new vocabulary words to students. But you're not sure how to do this in a fun way that's going to help them quickly remember and start using the words that you're teaching. Well by the end of this video you're going to have one more tool on your teaching tool belt to use in your classroom. So let's get straight into it and talk about today's activity, bounce. Now I like using bounce in my classrooms because not only is it a fun way to introduce new vocabulary but it also reviews colours. To play this game all we're going to need are flashcards of the vocabulary we want to teach and three different coloured balls. Position the class in a semicircle with you the teacher in the middle. You're going to place the flashcards face down one by one, counting as you do. So one, two, three, four, five. Note how slowly I'm counting. Next you're going to introduce the coloured balls one by one, asking the question, what colour is it? Students should then reply with the correct answer. For example, what colour is it? It's blue. Now hopefully you've taught students some kind of chant and TPR to help them remember the colours. And you can repeat that here. So instead of just saying it's blue, you might say it's blue, 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 depending on what you've previously taught. Next you're going to choose one student who is sat particularly nicely and have the whole class as a group ask them what colour do you like. That student's then going to reply with the colour of their choosing. For example, I like red. Now out of all these colours, I prefer red. But let me know in the comments below what your favourite colour is. Next you're going to roll the coloured ball to the student who's then going to pick it up and bring it to the front where they're going to drop it on the flashcard of their choosing. Now unless you want a pile up of three year olds, it's really important that as soon as that student drops the ball, you then pick it up. <gasps> pick up the card and look at it with enthusiasm. A little more than that. The more interested you seem, the more the kids are going to want to see. Okay, whoa, that's a little much. Next, have the class chant all together. Let me see, please. Let me see, please. After which, you can turn the card around and chant the new word to the class. It's a train choo-choo. It's a train choo-choo. It's a train choo-choo. It's a train choo-choo. If you're not sure how you should be using TPR and chants to help your students remember the new vocabulary, make sure you check out my video on chants and TPR linked below. Next, you're going to take that flashcard and place it on the floor face up, pick another student and then go again. So make sure you let students know that you are choosing those who are sat attentively and practicing the English with you. This helps to encourage that behavior. Keep going again and again until all the flashcards have been revealed. There you have it, bounce. A fun way to introduce new vocabulary whilst reviewing colors. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and commenting below with the word helpful if this was helpful for you. That's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe below and hit that notification bell for more weekly videos from Mooncake.